Hi guys, this is Rinkesh Patel and welcome to my YouTube tutorial channel for designing and thank you very much for watching my videos. You see that? Okay, now we are selecting the another option move object and then uh, radial distance. Okay, what we have to do in the radial uh, radian distance is to specify vector, specify axis point and the measurement point and then the distance okay first uh, we have to select the object then specify vector we are specify the vector by um, this face so the normal vector of this face will be selected and the axis point is this and the measurement measurement point uh, i am selecting this point so you see uh, you see that the origin point and the end point or measurement point my i mean axis point and measurement point produce a vector that is the direction of radial moving object so you can drag and drop anywhere you want to move your object so okay see that i hope you will understand my point uh, you need to practice little more and watch my channel again and again if you have any queries you can comment on it okay now we are selecting the another point this is the point to point this is the most i think uh, we studied it first yes point to point okay we are not studying it uh, now we are uh, selecting rotate by three points rotate by three points is we have to select specify vector pivot point start point and end point this pivot point is the point of the axis where uh, it is a reference of circle by which the object will move okay we will see that the object we are selecting this part and uh, specify vector obviously the perpendicular of this face and uh, pivot point i am selecting this point so the object uh, the body six will be move according to this point so i, I am selecting starting point uh, i am selecting the starting point this and the ending point this so you see you see that the circular uh, circular round uh, Mm, uh, this uh, this part will uh, move the circular round according to uh, starting point this to ending point this you see that okay i am selecting apply and done okay my computer is taking too much load i think okay now we are selecting the another point uh, axis to axis align axis to vector yes align axis to vector now uh, this is the most important uh, object in the no uh, sorry this is the most important uh, part of this moving or anything move face uh, resize face or uh, any any in this motion motion part okay we are selecting the part and uh, what we have to select is to form vector we uh, i want to no, perpendicular uh, sorry i want to parallel this face to this face and accordingly this body too so we are selecting this part and pivot point this pivot point is the point according to the point the will uh, the body will be uh, the the body will move so we are selecting this this edge and the specified two vector so i am selecting this vector so you see that okay now if i am selecting this but uh, this vector so my body will accordingly move this vector and my power point is this obviously and if you are if i am changing the my changing my power point to this my body will also change according to this so i am applying and you see that uh, this uh, this part is usually used in whenever you don't know the angle between two faces and you have to move or you have to co uh, co planner this body two bodies so you have to use this part 
okay another one is css by csys to csys so now uh, we have only one csy you see that datum coordinate system zero so i am gonna put another csy to any in space sorry double click and uh, i am putting anywhere in space okay you see that now we are going to move this object from this csys to this csys so i am selecting move object and uh, csys to csys object selecting this csys this to this my body will be moved okay you see that now this is the last point i think we are selecting mm, dynamic dynamic is the free move whenever you want to move your object just drag and drop okay so i'm done and the last one is uh, delta i think mm, yes this is the delta xyz now in this you have to put the dimension of x c y c and z c plans so we are just uh, selecting this object and uh, we are selecting 50 to 100 to 330 so and okay uh, where is our object oh this is our object so guys this is the use of more object in Siemens NX and this is the best part of Siemens NX I ever see so thank you very much guys for watching my video if you would like to watch my all more videos you can subscribe my channel or if you have any queries just comment on it thank you thank you very much